There's been a lot of talk about building a wall between the United States and Mexico and what that might mean for Texas. Find out more on this edition of One Star, One Texas. Hi, this is Tom Cantrell. Despite the divisive rhetoric flowing from Republicans in the Texas state government, there's a lot of angst among longtime residents of Texas of the implications of building a border wall. Let's take a look at just what that would mean. The border between the United States and Mexico stretches for more than 1,954 miles from the Pacific Ocean near San Diego, California, through Arizona and New Mexico, and down through Texas along the Rio Grande River to the Gulf of Mexico near Brownsville. More than two thirds of the border is between Texas and Mexico. From an economic standpoint, the economies of metropolitan areas on both sides of the border are inextricably linked and dependent upon one another. More broadly, Mexico is the third largest overall trade partner with the U.S. In 2015, daily bilateral trade was worth over $1.4 billion. Texas imports in 2015 amounted to over $84 billion, more than double the second largest source, China, and over five times that of imports from Canada. The proposed 20% import tariff to pay for a wall we don't need would end up costing Texans nearly $17 billion per year for the same goods and services they buy today. The vast majority of the terrain along the border is extremely rugged and stretches inland for hundreds of miles or more on both sides of the border. Wildlife habitat along the border is very delicate and only those species that have adapted over tens of thousands of years can survive the brutal environment. Aside from the Rio Grande, sources of drinking water are few and far between. For humans, crossing the Chihuahuan Desert makes the badlands of South Dakota look like a resort, and anyone attempting to cross it is desperate. And that, my friends, is the problem. Their despair should be the focus of our solutions and not a wall. Finally, ask yourself this. If it were you and your family living in poverty with no hope of improving your lives and you were in persistent danger from the brutal dictatorships in Central America or narco gang violence, just what would you do? If your answer is, get the hell out of there, then you're beginning to understand the problem. As I have said for many years, if we don't work with our neighbors to the South to help build their economy, stem lawlessness on their side of the border, and promote fair trade policies, then we will be facing revolution along the border, and no wall of any height can prevent that. For One Star, One Texas, this is Tom Cantrell. And remember, resist, persist, now go make it a great day.